Hi and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you how you can use I configuration to read from uh, settings. And settings are great because you can change them without recompiling your whole project. This time, let's talk about options. For now, I have a class like this. And these are my application options or settings. Um, the number I am going to send SMS with if users have to receive notifications or and the pass to my documents where I'm going to save uploaded files. Uh, these are just arbitrary options. You can have any options. I'm more concerned about how these settings are going to be saved and be read from uh, configurations. So now that I have these options, let's add them and set default values for them. Options help you to convert this class or properties of this class to settings and later you can set the values of these properties in apps in the JSON. Um, so let's go down here and use services configure and use my option and configuration uh, for configuration let's add or I'll change this to options and here I can set the default values and like this option is true option dog pass is something like um, files and for options Mm. Mm. SMS number. Let's have something like this. Mm. 2000. We can be number. Now we can read these values anywhere in our project using I options. Let's go to index page here and add a private read only. I configuration and I options. I options. It also has a name space. My app options and options. Let's inject this into the constructor. And now I can read this. Let's add a property. Like this SMS number, copy this in here and SMS number is options value SMS number. That's all we need to read these settings and now let's show this here. H1 at sign model dot sms number and 7hr to separate these and now let's run the application great it's working right now mm. now let's use app setting dot json to change this value in order to do that the best practice would be to go down here and go to services configure um, options and use configuration get section my app by this line i am telling h.net core that use section my app in app.json to read these values so if i go to uh, here and add my app and use sms number i can have a number like 3000 3, here mm. and save and if i run the project again 
This time I'm going to be re reading the app setting the JSON and not the default value. So app setting the JSON values override the default values. That's great because now I don't need to change the source code every time I want to change the number for my SMS provider. But the problem is if I go back to my setting and change this number while application is running and refresh the page again, I don't get the latest version unless I restart the application. Let's close this and run again again and this time we get the 4000 so uh, we need to fix this by using other options if i have to restart my application every time a value changes that's not a good solution so let's go to our project and this time instead of using i options Let's use my options monitor and go this here. And this time we cannot use value because we have current value. And let's close this and run application again. That's great. We are still seeing the values from app setting.json. But this time, if I go to app setting and change this to 5, save and refresh the page, I get the most recent value. So the problem is solved and uh, we can count on this value um, to change every time there is a value change in our app setting.json. There are other ways to implement the same functionality like using bind and get but I recommend using iOptions monitor and that's just easier and more readable. Thanks for watching and see you soon.